Well, hello and welcome back. This is Nate. And I got a unique one for you. Yes, it is a single wide. This is an 1140 square foot single wide at Clayton Homes here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now this one has a very unique floor plan. I was walking through it. I went and looked at the master bedroom, the master bath. Extra large, I will say that. I was pleasantly surprised at how big the master bathroom was, especially the fact that it has a separate shower and tub. Not just a little tub, but a big tub. I was also pleasantly surprised when I went down to the kids' rooms area, and of course, nothing to show back here. We're not going to get to the other side. But I was really surprised when I got down to the kids' rooms area saw the way they laid it out, saw the size of the middle bedroom. I was really impressed with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on in. I know y'all are going to like this one if you're looking for the single wides. Speaking of single wides, don't forget to check out the single wide playlist I have. Link to it in the description, maybe a link somewhere in the, in the corner up there, or they'll be, of course, at the end. Okay, so now as we come in, of course you are looking at your back door over there. But over this way, we've got our living room area. Now they have the vaulted ceilings here in the living room and kitchen area. Now as you can see, it goes to a flat roof right there. That flat roof in the bedroom area and in your master bedroom area it's only about seven and a half feet tall so keep that in mind it does kind of make you feel like it's pretty low now it's just it's too hard to hide the living room and the kitchen and all that with the way these are set up of course there's plenty of room for a dining room table there for a small round one like they've got fits in there perfectly and then we've got this big island right here so you almost don't even need the table because you've got seating for three it's your island here now your sink is in the island in case I haven't mentioned it of course there's the electrical outlet this home is called the Spectacular, and as far as single wides go, it lives up to its name. Some good counters or cabinet space down below here. Three drawers over there. More cabinets down below. Now they'll be more finished out when this is actually your home. This is just a show model. Now this one came with the black Frigidaire appliances. You can always option in a different appliance package if you wanted to. Now I don't see a microwave, so that keep in mind you may have to get a microwave. Maybe change that cabinet, put it above the stove, or probably set it up against the wall over there. Of course we've got more cabinets. A little storage above the fridge. Now it's hard to say, and I can't close the door, but it's hard to show you because they got this big old plant in the way, so I can't close the door. It is open house here, so they have all the doors wide open. Normally they're pin pad locked. So now as we come down the hallway, you've got this little 
nook area, as I would call it, your electrical box. But you got a mirror there. You've got some storage here with a shelf. And as you can see in the camera, it opens up really wide back here. We've got our utility area or washer and dryer area. But as you, like I said, it opens up nice and wide. It's just something you don't normally see in your single wides. That is your furnace. So let me just show you even your kid's bathroom as we say hello to Raiden. Decent sized counter. I mean, the way it feels, it just feels bigger than the normal kid's bathroom in your single wides. Now they went with the two piece shower tub combo in here. For a few bucks extra, get the uh, one piece. Now, as I said, these ceilings do feel a little bit low being only seven and a half foot. Just to kind of give you an idea, if you look in the mirror, now I'm touching the ceiling easily. And into the front bedroom. So now you can tell that this one feels bigger than most and it looks bigger than most of your front bedrooms. All right, so now coming out of bedroom number two, or bedroom number one, we're going to go into bedroom number two. Now bedroom number two isn't quite as big as your normal end bedroom. Still a really good sized bedroom. But instead of having the full width of the bedroom, they went ahead and put the closet on one side and gave you a really large closet in here. And I think I may or may not have missed the closet in the other room. We did have a couple of customers come in, so I'm not sure if I did or not. If I did, I apologize, and we're just going to come back and get it. Because you do get a really good size closet in here. Okay. <clears throat> so now, now that I know I covered everything at this end of the home, we're going to come back. Squeeze past this plant here. Give you one last look, or not really the last look, because you know you're going to get one more look as I come out. So now your master bedroom. Really wide window in here. Good size bedroom in here. Like I said, this one, I think maybe just a little narrower than most of the master bedrooms in your single wides. But you're going to be okay with that, giving up a few inches or so, because you're going to come into your master bathroom. This house isn't quite level, so all the doors want to swing shut. <laughs> so yeah, look at that great big tub that you get. And then you got your toilet on the back side with that pony wall. Now you'd have just the single sink with dual doors down below, giving you plenty of cabinet space down below. Big mirror, not just your single light up above. Well, I guess two lights, but only one above the sink area here. And yes, your closet is obviously in the bathroom. Decent sized closet here. Of course, I would probably put myself one of those accordion style doors in there. But then as you can see, we've got the big shower over here. 
Now this is a two-piece shower, so you've got this that wraps all the way around, and then the separate portion for the bottom. But this is a large bathroom for a single wide. <laughs> you don't usually see master bathrooms like this in a single wide. And you don't usually see that design down at the end for the bedrooms. So you should probably be down there leaving me a comment letting me know well, what do you think of this design. And with that I'm going to flip you around and get you some price information. Well, I hope you all really enjoyed this one. This was kind of a unique single white. I really like the layout of it. Now you should see the next one I'm coming up with. <laughs> it's a full sheetrock single wide. Now I don't know if it's already on the channel or if it's going to be coming out shortly. Stay tuned or link to it down in the description if it's already up on the channel. But now for the price on this one. So this one obviously at time of filming October of 22 is at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. So this price may or may not be the price that you pay depending on where you have this home set up and delivered. There could be extra city, county fees, extra freight charges, things like that. Yep, I just showed you. There we go. So with that, as I showed you behind me, the price on this one in October of 2022 is $89,000. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.